and you're fighting that good fight of faith, no one will find that number to be delivered. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm gonna call this one Red Alert. Red Alert. All right. And this is primarily to the New Yorkers out there and the brothers out there in New York. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is dated November 22nd, 2023. But as I was going through this, there's, there's updated uh, information as far back as yesterday, you know, December 4th. All right. So it says, <clears throat> this is medium. It says, New York Appellate Division ruling sparks concerns over government powers in public health. Now, let's get into this quick article. Too many to read. It says, in a recent in, uh, in a recent and landmark decision, the New York Appellate Division has ruled in favor of Governor Kathy Hochul granting the state board powers under Rule 2.13, <clears throat> known as Isolation and Quarantine Procedures. This ruling has ignited a, uh, a contentious debate about the balance between public health measures and individual liberties, raising concern about the government overreach. All right, now I believe this is the governor. <clears throat> now take a good look at this woman. If this ain't, uh, if this doesn't read, her face doesn't read sinister, I don't know what does. All right, so be prepared. We're coming down. We're coming down the stretch now. Be prepared for what's about to go down. Now, this may be here in New York, over there in New York right now, but you know how it goes. It just starts to it starts to germinate, if you will. The next thing you know, two or three Connecticut's gonna pick it up. <clears throat> the Massachusetts will pick it up, and so on and so forth. All right? But look at that woman right there, man. That yeah, you come here too. So they um, call her love, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukaha, Kodash, the double honor, the mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, to watch over our souls, shall warm to the Yakim, who awaited our sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukaha, Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 or 2, to you all, stay strong and stay mighty. So yeah, I just want to do a quick video here of the brother, the disciple Koshan Benyamian from the Brown Chain, Great Little Stone Barbados. Um, yeah, forgive me for the plantation, right? Um, but um, a lot of information is coming out here, right? Um, in this island, right? Just bear me a minute, right? Yeah, a lot of information coming out, right? From the underground, the underground sources, right? The underground sources. A lot of people that took the job a lot of people, a lot of people, um, a lot of people are um, dying from this job. I went to a lot of people, a lot of people, right? And um, if you know what's going on in China, there's a pneumonia, respiratory illness, right? That has begun. Now in this island here, they are warning you of a similar of similar cases here. Is right? Um, also, let me show you something here if we can get it here. Um, uh, the world has been shaken by the sudden emergence of a new pneumonia outbreak in China. And it's kind of reminiscent of a very similar event that we've seen in the past. In fact, in the past four years. And it's not just China, folks. In fact, it's happening in multiple countries and multiple U.S. cities are under alert at this point. I'm going to share those cities with you guys later in this video. Uh, but ultimately, a mysterious pneumonia outbreak is emerging in New York. 
just days after similar illnesses were reported in China as well as multiple other countries. Now, the announcement of an ammonia outbreak originating in China sent shock waves across the globe. So I guess stop that one there because the video I showed you earlier was the elder brother um, from Boston. No, this article he goes into, right? <clears throat> Massachusetts. These people can detain you basically indefinitely, right? Your quote unquote rights will be thrown out the window, you see? Right? Now, like I tell you, uh, in this island here, when when you had the, the lockdown from DVOP, which is, which is the thing spelled backwards, you got a lot of. Um, the, the, the main place is down north of the island, right? Where they will quarantine you, say. Right? And then during the lockdown, you know, people will come and um, come to your house for how many people live there, you know, how many children, you know, etc. etc. how big the house is, you know what I mean? So, we, we definitely at that time, if you know the woman um, from Pajo um, that recently passed. I gotta speak in court because I don't want the video to get taken down. I want this to reach who we're supposed to reach, right? But the woman that recently passed, um, Cel Celestine, that we thought she named, yeah, look at she here, look. right? She's the one that recently passed. She had a massive heart attack because she was pushing the job very hard in this island as well right and she get boosted up so she recently had a massive massive heart attack and um she has since gone back to the spiritual realm now the underground news coming out is that 110 people a week are passing from this um from diva it's like so we coming out to a time where um the devil's gonna come down having great wrath and a lot of you people ain't ready. A lot of you people ain't ready. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Just hold a minute. This is Revelation 12. Hey, on the plantation, so forgive me, right? Why just made this here short to the point? Revelation 12 and 12. Like I tell you, God speaking code, but a lot of a lot of things being hidden. Right? But a lot of things being revealed as well. But but you know, you um, YouTube does take down your videos, etc. Based on medical misinformation, right? Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So, right. So, all you gotta do just follow the money, just follow the news, just look and see what's going on. Right, and um, you can see that he saw Eden get moved, he get moved um, fast in these last in his last seconds as a king in his empire. You know what I mean? Because the king of kings, you have a shy, you have a shy, are you? Are you? I see you have a shy, right? He's coming to the throne, he saw Eden and tear back this kingdom and give it into the hands of the children of Israel is <clears throat> right and Massachusetts will pick it up and so on and so forth right but look at that woman right there man that's truly a face you can trust right it says government overreach in rule 2.13 under rule 2.13 the state of New York now has the authority to enter homes and forcibly take individuals away for uh, for quarantine without providing any prior notice. The rule applies to any virus or infection that the government deems necessary, leaving citizens with no immediate uh, resource or option to challenge the decision. <clears throat> All right? So uh, it's, it's amazing how this article came out back in November and it was updated couple of days ago and now you got the pneumonia surge in China in parts of New York and here as well I would like to merge the video with this with this one here but it can't get merged but it's for fucking wrong but there's a 
respiratory illness outbreak in this early year, right? <clears throat> and they're telling the citizens, the Barbadian citizens, to um, wear the mask, sanitize properly, etc., etc. You know what I mean? So we seeing the same pattern like in 2019 happening now, right? So who will give ear, right? Who will give ear that they will hear? You know what I mean? Meaning who can listen to the prophets? So that, that that's what it's really about, right? Who can listen? I can't I'm trying to find the preset. Isaiah 42, verse 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? So who can listen? You know what I mean? Or are you just going to snub this one side? You know, or any of that. You know, everyone going to party. Everyone going to continue my quote unquote lifestyle because everything good. You see? What well, when you go to the ATM, right? To withdraw money, you don't need this money to withdraw money, right? And they tell me my card is not valid in this branch, which my card is valid. And then they went yesterday or the day before, and they tell me that I have, um, I can no longer withdraw funds because I withdraw sufficient funds for the day, which, and that thing, I ain't draw no money. No, like my wife drove drove money to pay for my son's lessons. That was the one transaction for the day. So a lot of these things happening at once, and you ain't really taking heed. That we be giving you warning from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Jeremiah twenty eight verse eight. The prophets that have been before me and before their word prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. But when you taking heed, Isaiah 42 and 23 again, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? When they when, when can listen, they can, if that does in New York, let me play about the video there, that's in New York, they can enter into your home if they deem you, you get back, man. The decision, <clears throat> all right? of New York now has the authority to enter homes and forcibly take individuals away for, uh, for quarantine without providing any prior notice. The rule applies to any virus or infection that the government deems necessary, leaving citizens with no immediate uh, resource or option to challenge the decision. <clears throat> before, right? Before so, any notice, before any prior notice. So the, a swarm of cats get yeah, short. Sure. Could just show up at your establishment, one being a uh, quote unquote ambulance. You know what I mean? You ring your doorbell first, you come out, so and so live here, but we deem so and so, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? We, we got your records, you, you went this place and there was an outbreak here, so we need to take you in to quarantine you. You know what I mean? And, or it could be your children, it could be my sons. Who knows? The, the point is, the devil's gonna come down having great wrath. You know what I mean? And a lot of you ain't taking heat. You see? Right? So this is only for a small few. You understand? The remnant. You see? Right? The remnant of Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai because, like I said, a lot of things come going out here in this island and they're being swept under the world. I can't play because the video can get flagged. It's trying to get me taken down. You see? Right? But just give one a warning. Now it's good to see it and give them warning from me. Ezekiel 3 17. Son of, Na, son of man, I have made a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. That's what we're doing. Right? Well, again, we're, 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 we're watching and reading about things unfolding as the scripture says. You know? It, 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 the scriptures speak about them coming in like a flood you have no more rights you have no more liberties and i'm gonna say this stay out of them hospitals man <clears throat> because if this is already on the books these hospitals can do whatever the fuck they want to do all right they have a license they don't have the license to go ahead and do whatever they want to do to you in that hospital exactly big man 
real thing. So let me get one last preset here, right? Um, Get another preset there. Um, there's one that said they shall enter. Um, they should, uh, I forget how it go, but I know it's in your pocket from uh, right? They should waste and take rid of goods. They should waste and take away their goods. Like a minute, man. Second ever sixteen seventy two. That's it. Great going. Second ever sixteen verse seventy two. Second ever sixteen verse seventy two. Uh, let me start at 71. Let me start at 70. Second Edward 1670. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear their brother, that fear the Lord. For they shall raise and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yeah, boy. So these military troops can, can come in. You know what I mean? Or the medical, or the medical, the military troops. And then the, the medical staff, the, you know what I mean? That with the vans, always see him with the mask on, with the suits on. Right? Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the goal in the fire. Real thing. So these, these things come a big man. Right here, O ye my beloved, see of the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. I may tell it that, but I will deliver you from the sin. So there's a the comfort that the elect has. But I will deliver you from the sin. But from the sin, what the sin trouble? The time of Jacob's trouble. You say, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. See of the Lord. Power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are born with their sins and covered with their iniquities, God we repenting daily. They won't feel like repenting daily. So that's a wire, that's a wire being loose every day. You know what I mean? That's a cobweb being shed from you every day, being trapped, right? But your sins, but we repenting every day, so you gain less and less in the eyes of your Abba Ba Hashem Yahushai. You say, but it's good to say, woe be unto you, the, to them that are born with their sins. You won't be painted, right? And covered with their iniquity. So you, you, you're you laden with sins, big man, right? Like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. It is left undressed, and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. So this can happen to a lot of one of unbelievers out there, big man. You say? Real thing. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think I think it made the point, man. You know what I mean? I think it made the point. Yeah, I think it made the point. <clears throat> a lot of things happening. And when they're watching, when they're, when they're, um, Taking heed to the prophets, right? Taking heed to the warning from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So, a lot of you are going to be caught on the rear. That's First Thessalonians 5. For when they shall see peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape. 
So yeah, boy, Lord's will be done. Proverbs 3, verse 25, Be not afraid of sudden fear, nor of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Proverbs 3, verse 25 and 26. You can I reset that in the Hebrew. You know what I mean? But you can too. You know what I mean? Anyhow, shalom. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatam, shalom.